Hi guys, let's take a look at the formatting of anvisings, directions. I always say this, your question is very important. What are you directing? Are you directing people to a destination, which is usually the case? Are you directing them on how to build something, how to make something? What are you doing? Very important is to always go in chronological order. So our question is going to be to direct them to your school. Right, wherever your school is, from your house to your school, you have to give them directions like that. Your directions have to start with a verb, very important. You have to make it very clear. Because we're giving directions to a destination, which is school, you have to indicate streets, landmarks, etc. So people can know that they're on the right way to your school. So number one, for example, you are at your house. How? Where do you turn? Are you going to turn left first? Or are you going to turn right first? So let's say I'm going to turn. Sorry, you don't start. You start with the verb. So rey rechts tot by the stopstraat. So rey rechts tot by the stop. Dan. Draai jy rechts en rei reg jy tot by die volgende stopstraat. And here you would probably now give like some sort of landmark. You'd say, op jou rechte kant sal a kliniek wees. So that they can know that they're on the right path. Right? Then you skip another line and you start. Dan rei jy, draai rei weer rechts en op jou lik is daar a veld. And that's how you go. You always give them some sort of landmark so they know, okay, I'm on the right path. Okay, I look out for that. Um, give them the stop street. Give them the, the traffic light. Give them the destination. On what side will be what? And when they get to your school, it should be flawless. All right. And that's how you do it. Always start with a verb. Give landmarks. Give street names. If you can, if you can remember. Dry rechts in a long street or something like that. And you should be fine. I will see you in the next one.